environment. Oh, yeah. Doing professional recording. And I was really hoping... Oh, so the reason why I was asking about the wireless card, the opinion right. on one, is because when I went to... Because I was a dingus and didn't like actually check the the port that I thought my in my sister's room that I thought was another night port. Uh, it's a fucking phone port, and I'm like, fuck, <laughs> two months, I need it. Because I was really like, I can finally play games again with people. Because now Sarah's gone, right? So like the only way I can play it is with like online stuff. Yeah, to and then kind of do something while you guys are talking because it's yeah. boring if you don't. Yeah, very. And uh, I really wanted to play games with you again because like we. You don't realize how much you use it until you don't have it. Mm -hmm. Because, like, if you think about it, it always felt like we were hanging out all the time. Even though we still record, like, once a week. Right. It still felt like we were record hanging out all the time because we played games online together, like, a, a week, week on top of recording. And then now this past month, it's like, it feels like we barely have done anything we together. Haven't. Isn't that <laughs> weird? You don't realize how much, like, that the internet kind of connects people kind of, yeah. even if you live literally a couple well, miles away it's still like you st we each have our own lives i don't know it's just fucking weird i was like oh god i need to just buy a wireless card yeah so i bought one sick yeah yeah that should you'll have to open it up and slot it in but you got that no no, no i can do that yeah i was just like oh fuck it really fuck it really because I, I really wanted to play um all the scrolls online again oh, okay because it's a free mmo and actually mentioned that the other day, too. We were looking for a game to play together. We were playing Saints Row 4, but apparently the co-op in that game is really buggy and you get constant disconnects. I mean, it's fun, though, together for like a couple hours, though. It is, but like we were getting disconnected every 20 minutes. Yeah, that's and so we were like, fuck this. We played The Forest for a little bit. Uh -huh. That's been kind of fun. We should play The Forest again. But I've... then she also mentioned like Elder Scrolls. On yeah. As a... I really want to... Uh... Really wanted, I really want to play because I have that new expansion coming out. It's a necromancer. It isn't a new class. Ooh. I was like, I love necros, yo. <laughs> I love necros. They're <laughs> my fave. So that was, uh, yeah, I really want to play that. Because I, I really want to play WoW, but like it's $15 a month. Well, and the, the thing about WoW is, man, there's all this stuff you can do, but... It's like the same... It, it, it is a lot of the same. But it while. has that really great novelty to it. It has a fantastic which novelty. Which is awesome. You know what we should do when Classic WoW comes out here in next month or two? Do a bit Play of, a month of that. Oh, hell yeah. Because I, I really... What we were going to record originally was... Uh, I wanted to start doing... This will start in June for everyone who's listening. Is just Also, welcome to the side table. Did we do that? No. Oh. This is what, episode 19? Yeah. Almost 20, man. Dang. Do we usually say our names when we introduce this? Uh, we haven't in the past. Oh, all right. Here we go. Welcome I am... Welcome to the side table. I am Chad You Betcha. <laughs> and this is my boy, Skinhead Larry. Okay, we have done that for a couple episodes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, no. Anyway, I'm Patrick, and this is Joshua. If this is your God, first way time to just, like... Oh, uh, yeah. We're... Yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We never introduced ourselves. You could have been, like... I'm your host, uh, Patrick. I am the the Cthulhu god of your dreams, Patrick. <laughs> Patrick. And then this is Joshua. There you go. You're so like much better. Lowly little monk disciple. I'm, who, I'm your Robin. Who just loves me. <laughs> <laughs> I just love my boys. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, your your plan was starting in in June. In June, uh, to just do five uploads. For a week? A week. And they could be five like anything. Okay. And so I wanted to do like the podcast. As one of those. Like maybe three, two Let's Plays. And then the other one's like some weird creative thing we do. Something a bit outside of what we've yeah. been doing. Yeah. So like the next two weeks, I have a half day uh, each of those days. If you oh, nice. don't work one of those days and you want to attempt that kitchen thing. Oh, yeah. The which, cooking which, thing. Which one did you want to do though? I want to do the one where you just tell me to make something and I have no idea what it is. Okay. I think that would be more entertaining. As much as I really want to improve my cooking ability, uh, I want that that one would just be really funny as I an entertainer. I think as an entertainer it would be more funny too. But if you want to like learn to cook something, like we can make that entertaining. Oh, I know. I just uh, I want to try that one first because that was your OG idea. That was yes. And I want to go with your your input and yeah. try that. Okay. So like, yeah, I have a half day the next. 
on like both Wednesdays, the following two weeks. So if you're oh, free okay. on those days, that'd be rad. I might be. Um, I actually don't know. I look. But yeah, and then because we tried the drawing thing, mm -hmm. and a lot of people watched that. There was like nine views. Oh. One guy, did you see the guy's comments? He's like, "What no. the fuck is this?" And I'm like, <laughs> "It's your dream." And then he's like, "What?" Uh, this coming Wednesday, I do work, but I'm only working till four. And I won't know about next week until later, but... It's up to you, man. It's your house. We, we, we can do it this coming Wednesday. Okay. And then Ashley will be home for dinner, and I'll be like, look what Patrick made you. And she'll be like, Jesus Christ. Christ. And I'll be like, you right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, no, I really want to do that. Um, do you have any ideas for what you want to make? No, I want it to be something I have no idea. Okay. We want to keep it pretty basic, though. Yeah, okay. and then uh, I can go... We'll make a store trip. Yeah. We'll uh, vlog it. Oh, yeah. I want, it to, I want the whole, like, experience for it, and then I'll throw it up that, like, following week. Okay. Yeah, because it'll take a while to edit, because the... Yes, there, there's going to be a lot there, to Yeah. And I don't mind, I don't mind doing that, because I don't mind being busy making that stuff. As long as I'm creating something, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I just need that. And yeah, so that was kind of my plan, because uh, a lot of people, well, are, like, five... Watch more than usual. Yeah, watch us for the Let's Plays, mm -hmm. and so doing those. But I wanted to start a because I was like, because all this basement stuff going on. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I was gonna wait for hundred views, but let's do. Let's just start Oblivion. Let's fucking do Oblivion. Mm -hmm. Thought I had it on my computer. Apparently, I don't own it. But I swear to God, I bought it on my computer. You probably do own it, but you prob do you own one of like the old physical discs like I do? No, I think I bought it digitally. Okay. Oh, no, yeah, you did buy it for your computer. I'm, like, pretty sure I bought it pretty for my sure computer. Pretty sure you did, too. And so I don't... I don't know. Huh. But well, I mean, you can get them for, like, $4. Yeah. <laughs> and so I was gonna do that. I was like, okay, fine. I don't have Oblivion. Fine. We'll just, uh, you know what? We did a Christmas special of it. We did permadeath of it. We'll just start a boring old Skyrim playthrough. Just, like, traveling go. through. Whatever. So I thought that would be pretty fun, because it's just... I really wanted to play Skyrim, because, you know... Now that Game of Thrones is over. Right. Did you watch it? I did. Talk about it later. Okay. Okay. Anyway, that's that was my that's my plan. Man, you but, could even play Skyrim on the Switch. I could, but I have like really funny mods. Oh, okay. And it looks yeah, that's a lot nicer on the uh, on the PC. That's yes. why I was like, yeah. But no, I cuz you could record it in handheld mode. Oh, I could do that. Yeah. Couldn't I? You'd have to get a HDMI like mini adapter, but uh -huh. you could record it in handheld. That'd be so funny. I'd be like right here, just like oh, there's this fucking man. <laughs> yeah. like, I, I can't see it. <laughs> I can't see it, man. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty cool. I did. I, w I was going to make a list today of things to talk about to try a list out for the podcast, mm -hmm. and then you said, "Screw it." No, I forgot to do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I had. You should have put that on your list of things to do. I know. <laughs> I was like, I think I remember it, but, you know, I don't remember it. No. Oh! I work really well off of lists. <laughs> I know, I do too, and I just, yeah, whatever. But. Sit for dramatic effect. Guess what movie I saw this weekend. What movie did you see? Was it, is it in theaters? Yes. No, it doesn't matter. It is a movie all. you will want to see. The only one that I know of that's in theaters that I want to see is Detective Pikachu. I saw John Wick! Oh, that's right! Three. John Wick 3 is in theaters! Best John Wick. That's what I heard from somebody. Hands down. In. Best fucking John Wick. It was so good. So fucking good. It was really good. This what guy was coming in. He was looking for the first two because like his girlfriend hadn't seen the second one or something. Uh -huh. They had just seen the third one. And I was like, okay, so, you know... Pretty good. He's like, like, was it as good as the first one? He's like, I think it was better. It was, it was way better. Like the first one, amazing. Second one, really good. Not kind as good as the first same one. Thing, yeah, but it was, it was kind of long. Mm -hmm. Like I was fine with it being the same thing. Like if John right, Wick, that's want, all I need. If John Wick wants to be an eight series like it's action good, thing, just like Jason Bourne, yeah, just fucking I'll do take it. it. Yeah, just do it. Um, John Wick three uh, was just so fucking good. I could not believe how good it was. I was like. I and mean, the Keanu Reeves, like, how, you can't go wrong with that man. No, you can't. He's so, ah, oh, he's amazing. But yeah, it was, it was He really just, like, good. oozes charisma and badassery. It was, it was really good. And he's just so nice. Yeah. Like, overall, he's just a really chill dude. But yeah, if you ever want to see Detective Pikachu. Yeah, uh, we'll have to plan a day. Yeah. Would you be mad if I already saw it? 
I mean, li- slightly, but okay. You already saw it, didn't you? <laughs> Sarah asked. <laughs> she was leaving. That's fine. Uh, no, but I am more than willing to go with you. Okay. That movie made me cry. That's what I was afraid of, but it yeah wasn't as bad as the one Pokemon movie. Not bad in how sad and emotional right. it was. That's what I meant. But in the fact that like it's this close to being real. Oh, okay. And you're just like... <laughs> I need this. <laughs> it was just... It's really good. And uh, your boy's in it. Right, Deadpool. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm sorry, I meant like Growlithe. Oh, Growlithe's in there. Sweet. And Bulbasaur, just... I cried when I saw him. I cried like three times, I think, during it. It was really good. But no, I only saw it... I was going to ask your permission... <laughs> then I was like, but then I was like, he's not my dad. And so, That's right. Yeah. You don't need to ask my permission. Yeah, and but no, she was leaving, and we had free, two free, free tickets, tickets from the bull eye, and nice. she's like, I really want to see Detective Pikachu with you, and I'm like, okay. Do you feel like you cheated on me just a little bit? Yeah. Good. I, like a lot. Like, I, I legitimately feel guilty. No, no, you're, no, you're no, no, no joke. But no, if you ever want to see it, whenever you want to see it, just let me know. Okay. It is... Really good. You'll really. It's the yeah. best best video game movie I've ever seen, <gasps> and probably best movie next to John Wick I've seen this year. Dang. And I've seen a chunk of movies this year. You have. Yeah. It was really really good. No, yeah, both of those I do. I don't know if I'll see John Wick necessarily in theaters. I would. I would see it in theaters. It's worth paying the money. Okay. So is Detective Pikachu. That one I kind of wanted to see anyway. Just and you get tickets, not tickets, cards, promo cards. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you already showed me that. I, I did didn't show you get, that. didn't pull Bulbasaur. I got Charmander, but it's fine. Yeah. But, you know, whatever. Whatever. Snubble's in it. My boy Snubble. Snubble. I love Snubble. I love Gramble. Gramble, Gramble puts in the work. Oh, yeah. Gramble. Here's my favorite five. Ooh. It's really hard to do because you're like, man, I really like the style of these, but these ones are really good to battle with. Right. How do I, how do I intertwine those rankings? Okay, here are my favorite five. Right now, if I if someone were to say if someone were to point a gun at me, and say give me the five of your favorite fucking Pokemon, or I'm gonna or if you don't, I'm gonna blow your brains out. Get funny thing that never happens, does it? I know, but if it does, this is this is what it goes. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, where did that analogy ever come from? I don't know. And this is in order: Bulbasaur, Salamence, sorry, Yvonne, Yvonne, uh, Mewtwo, Crocodile, no, no, Gramble, Crocodile. Okay, okay. Gun to my head. Um, Grolith is up Dude, top. Dude, give me the phone! Oh Dude, my God, my fucking 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 Do it now! So yeah, Grolith is up top. Yep. Um, yep. Right? Yeah. Dude, I'm gonna fucking <laughs> shoot you! Stay out! You're gonna fucking die! Oh no! Um, I feel like Arcanine's gotta be up there, too. Really? Yeah. You got to double dip? I'm going to double dip. All right, do it. The amount of times I've used Arcanine in competitive. That is very true. That's my boy. Yeah, he is. <laughs> um, man, who else are my competitive go-tos? Well, if you had, like, a Pokemon team, and you were a Pokemon trainer, Pokemon what tra- six Pokemon would you want to surround yourself with? Okay, well, we'll go with we'll go with Growlithe. We'll skip out on the double dipping for Arcanine. Um I'm going to have a Butterfree and I'm going to have a Noctowl. Oh, yeah. They're going to be trash. Oh, yeah. But they're going to be cute. But they're going to be your mods, man. That's right. Uh, Let's see. Hmm. I'm going to have a Dragonite. Mm Mm-hmm. Dragonite's going to be there. Who's number five? Number five will be... Do, 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 oh, God, do. Jeopardy music. Do, 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 I don't think we can hum that. Do, do, do. Oh. <gasps> Go, pick a fucking <laughs> uh, My fifth Pokemon's going to be... Scizor. Scizor? Yes. He's annoying. I hate him. I love him. Because Just because I, he is. I never drafted him. He always got him. Because I always would get, like, my checklist first. Right. And I'm like, I need, need a good steel type. It's either going to be Feral Seed <laughs> or Scizor. Hopefully it's... No, it's already no, drafted. Yeah, I'm sorry. I already drafted him. All right. Yeah, they're they're like your your steel types for yeah. for OU. Oh, Sableye would be uh, number six. Oh, Sableye's trash. I love Sableye. Oh, you thought you were gonna kill me, prankster? Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never used Mega Sableye though, because my Mega was always something else. Right. I don't remember. Oh, Toad. Mega Venusaur. Mm, yep. Because he's boss. He is. He is a tank. Oh yeah. Yeah, I kind of wanna when Sword and Shield comes out. I really want to get back into, like, competitive. 
Battling. I have to get a Switch. Dude, I'm gonna... I just have to show you my Switch with Pokemon Sword and Shield on it, and you will, like, insta-buy it within two days. Then I have to spend money. <laughs> You'll insta-buy it. I swear to God you will. It was when... Remember when I showed you Pokemon X and Y, and yeah. you bought a 3DS and the... Yeah. Yeah, it will be exactly like that. I'm waiting for them to come out with that newer, cheaper Switch. Which one? The little tiny one? I don't know. Whatever yeah. one they happen to come out with. Nah, fuck it. Just, you just gotta go in. And you'll have it. I'll be like, oh man, look at this like really nice Pokemon that I can just like <laughs> plop in my TV and then let it go. Yeah, yeah I know. know. It'll be like one of those things where you'll be like cooking or whatever and you don't think I'll be here, but I'll like, be <laughs> you're in just the like surprised. And I'll just like walk out of this room into your kitchen. Oh, wow, I just caught, look at that 1080p Growlithe. Isn't that pretty cool? All right, see you, man. And then I'll just walk out the door. And you'll be like, oh, oh fuck. Yeah, but they don't have following Pokemon in it. Yeah, you still get it. You got it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Try to come up with it. I, I know, it's hard. It'll be really nice. I mean, you saw the fog on that in the trailer. Yeah, they had real fog. They had volumetric fog lighting. God rays. God rays. <laughs> All those god rays. And there was something else in that uh, trailer that was really, really dope. I don't remember. I can't remember either. It looked really good, though. It looks super good. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Um, see, I'm tempted to get, like, both copies again. Just so you have the versions? Yeah. And so Sarah can play one? Yeah, but then she'd have to get her own Switch. Yeah, if you wanted to play at the same time. Because we could just do profiles, you know. Oh, they let you do that in Pokemon games, though. I mean, they let them do it with Pokemon Let's Go. That's true. Yeah. So, essentially, this will be the... F- the first main Pokemon where you could have multi saves. Yeah, isn't that pretty rad? It's been decades. I don't think it's ever. Been it's a thing. never happened. Yeah. So Pokemon has been born on a console. You've never had multiple saves for a cartridge. Isn't that ridiculous? It's ridiculous, but they could get away with it because it was amazing. I know, right? <laughs> and then it moved to buy the other one. Although initially, for like the really old ones, is because there wasn't space. Oh, that's excuse. Yeah. yeah. Stupid excuse. I mean. If there was enough space, but then they go and make, like, a second-gen game with both regions in it. Yeah, but that was only because of somebody, some developer's uh, compression uh, thing he was doing with it. Yeah, yeah. That game was amazing. That was the Oh, my God, it was amazing. That was the height of Pokemon games, when they were like, oh, shit, this might be the last one we make. Yeah. Let's go all out. Yeah, and then they fucking won't do it and again. Then they, and then they... F- then they screwed it up and succeeded, and they won't do it again. Yeah, fucking Japanese, am I right? And every time a game comes out, I'm, I'm like, do we get multiple reagent? And no. 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 No, we don't. Do we still love it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Back in my day, we had multiple regions, though. So yeah. 16 so. gym badges. Heck yeah, and when it was remade, creamed a little. Mm, yeah. A little. When it was remade, I almost bought the Japanese copy, because mm. I was so excited for it. Like, beyond belief. Right, but at that point, you would have to have a Japanese console. Yeah. I, I don't think they're region locked anymore, but at that time, they were. Yeah. And uh, and then you have to read Japanese. Yeah, but I mean, it's Pokemon. I, I knew that game by heart. Okay, but are you going to memorize what each move looks like in text form? If in high school, high school, Probably. Me, I can, yeah. <laughs> I could now, not at no. all, but. You'd but have been yeah. like, uh, click that. Shit, tail web. Sick. <laughs> or, oh, shot I deleted a... I, I deleted, I deleted flame flamethrower for tail whip. Dang. Fuck. No, that was really awesome. And th- that was when we had to wait, like, six months. Yeah, there's a huge, like, six-plus-month waiting between Jap- Japanese and American now, now they do it all at the same time, which they is do. super nice. Well, almost all at the same time. There's been some weird ones where, like, France got it a day or two early. I don't get that. I don't I don't understand what's happening there either, but And I don't see why Europe gets like special events and we don't Yeah, they get a lot of weird promos that we don't get here. I don't or even know, Japan doesn't get. Yeah, I, I don't know why. And I feel that Japan and America would be the your two biggest audiences probably for Pokemon. But it might be a situation where Nintendo wants to drop unique events in geographic locations. To force, like, the diehards to travel oh. for Pokemon. That's what, like, what Pokemon Go does. Yeah. Uh, I f- oh, shit. I forgot what I was going to say. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know 
whatever. Damn it. That's all right. Well, it's not like we're on a show where we talk about things. Oh, it was... Because the Pokemon TCG World Championships are always in America. Right. I don't know. It just didn't make sense to me. I wonder if TCG is just... Well, I mean, America's pretty central to the world. Mm-hmm. Not that we are, but... It just happens to work out that way because we're like the world's biggest consumer nation of everything of everything. So I wonder if just like TCG in general is just way bigger here. I think it might be. I don't know. I started now playing magic a lot, which sucks because it's a lot harder to learn and memorize shit than Pokemon is a bit. Yes. And well, Eight. you've also had the fundamentals of Pokemon down for the last two decades. Yeah, so <laughs> it, it's, like, really fucking weird going from something that... Uh, second nature. To yeah, it. to... Uh, like, so, last Thursday, I was playing um, a shit ton of Magic at Abe's. Like, we... I stayed, like, past midnight, almost <laughs> wow. 1 o'clock. You weren't asleep? I was getting tired. I'm like, dude, I think I should go home after this. And he's like, yeah, it's almost... It's past midnight, actually. I'm like, oh, fuck. Usually I'm in bed at least a half hour before (laughs) this. But, uh, no, it's just like a whole different, it's a whole different beast, you know? Mm -hmm. I just, but my thing, what I was going to mention, I I forgot it, then I remembered. Uh, It was really funny. It's because in Pokemon, after you attack, it's the opponent's turn. So with magic, you can do your sorcery. You can do your introductory phase, sorcery, attack, then do sorcery, then do other shit again. Right, you get extra sorceries and stuff. Yeah. And so, you can react. Yeah, so I am just, uh, I do my whole attacking thing. And, and you're then, like, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, so I'm just like staring at Ava and we're just like chatting or whatever. And then he goes, oh, by the way, are you done? I'm like, oh, yeah, it's your turn. Go, <laughs> Sorry, go, yeah, yeah, go for it. I'm so used to Because then we played Pokemon afterwards. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, oh, I see now why you were, you were just you were like pausing. playing yeah. and then just being, you know, all right. Yeah. He got to use my Charizard Reshiram deck mm. and I had to use Picaram and Picaram. And what else <laughs> did I use? I don't know. But I was really hoping that we would have, I thought Sarah, because I just grabbed Sarah's box that she has with her all her decks in it and I grabbed mm-hmm. mine. I knew I had my starter deck. She did not have her starter deck. Ooh. And in that box. And so... Uh, you can't pit starter. Yeah, so, so I was like, ah, oh, it wouldn't be fair. So I was like, oh, just use Charizard Restroom. I want you to like Pokemon so you can spend as much money as I have on it. <laughs> and he was doing Charizard Restroom and he was just fucking annihilating. And I I couldn't do anything. But yeah. And Magic, though, I, I, just, I got this really like... I, it's a... Fundamentally, it's a good, like, starter, uh, what do they call them? Planeswalker deck. Mm-hmm. It's it's good. It's the one that I keep losing whenever I... Yeah. Not the red one. It's just, it's really, it's fundamentally really good, but I just, I don't know what it is about that deck. It just sucks. It just, I can't do anything, and so I kept losing with that one. And then now we're doing Friday Night Magic, nice. which is, like, legit, you know? So I'm like, oh, I gotta make a fucking deck. And so I've been making a fucking deck the past couple days... It's like a bitch. <laughs> it's a bitch because I don't have like dupes for, you know, a lot of like the creatures. I have mm-hmm. dupes for some spells and shit. Well, spells actually are all the cards. That's what all the cards are referred to. Even creatures are called uh, spells because you are a wizard who's casting right. everything. Didn't realize that when uh, it's playing with Abe. And then sorceries. Are you know this the actual spells the, the spell spells, the spell and, spells. and then uh, there's like the instance that but I got like dupes of the sorceries the instants and artifacts and shit but not of creatures so you're kind of limited there yeah but like they all kind of do relatively the same thing because I'm doing a white black deck so like my white deck has the capability to make vast amounts of weaker creatures that have life link which means if they do damage to the opponent, I gain that much damage and health back. Oh. But they're weak, so they'll die faster. But my right. black deck part brings them back as, like, zombie minions and with the same thing. Nice. Yeah. So you're just, like, a massive horde. Yeah, yeah. And, like, the... And how the white color of the cards is, like, a nice, like, calming, like, cream, cream. color. And then the black one's just... I just always feel... 
more towards the darker side with things. <laughs> so and it was really, it's a really cool mesh, how they worked well together. We'll see how it turns out on Friday, but... You'll have to let me know. Yeah. But I, I said if I won two matches, I was going to... There's this dinosaur Planeswalker deck. Oh, man. I really, really want... But I'm like, no, I already spent you know $20 on this deck building box. If I win twice with the deck I make from this, uh, I don't know, let myself buy the... The dino deck. The dino deck. Because I almost bought it the other day. <laughs> But I was stoned out of my mind, mm -hmm. and I talked myself out of it. Good job. Yeah, and bought a dollar bag of... Kit Kats. No, uh, the green bean things. The crunchy little green bean chip things. It's like the green bean pea pods, and they're flavored. It's like the healthy alternative to potato chips. Never have. Have you ever seen these? I don't think so. So if you ever see them in Meyer. They're by the deli area okay. on the other side of the nuts. So on the side yeah. facing the cosmetics mm -hmm. shit. They're just like, I don't remember the brand, but it's just green bean things. Get them. So it's like the green bean like outer shell. Yeah. And then they've just flavored it and kind of like crispy it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Get the mango chili lime one. Hmm. And I, so what I do when I go shopping at Meyer for groceries and shit is I will just straight up open that bag in the store. I'll pay for it. Right. But I'll eat the whole thing while I'm shopping. But man, I was just like, oh yeah, I'm eating this right now. And so I spent like a dollar instead of you know, 16. Nice. So I knuckled Score. myself. Yeah. Saw like five people I knew who stopped and had conversations with me. I'm like, you're like fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the dangerous part about going, going grocery shopping. Oh yeah. Especially inebriated. <laughs> You're like, oh, fuck. Now they're seeing me, you know? And play like, it cool. Play it cool. True form. I'm just like, okay, hey, what's good? You know? Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. <laughs> like, I'm inside, Internal. Inside, it's so funny because I'm so like, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. But then on the outside, I'm like, oh, hey, how's it going? You know, so and so. And then when they leave, you're just like, the, the visual Internal expression panic. is like, oh. <gasps> Fuck, that was close. They almost <laughs> knew. As you're th shouting out loud, they almost found out. <laughs> they almost knew that I was totally stuck. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. That was funny. Made me chuckle. That's good. That's good. Chuck like a silly old cock. Cocks don't chuckle. Your cock doesn't. How'd you know what my cock does? I know. Don't pretend. Copyright. <laughs> so, Joshua, what have you done this week? You know this exercise of making me recall the last week doesn't work. I have the world's worst memory, so this week I... Officially came out. Yep, I came out, and I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's something you should remember. What am I remembering? Exactly. I just... I think I just worked a lot this week. No, I had a couple days off there. What did I do on my days off? I don't know. Our lives are kind of boring. A little bit. Yeah. I'm okay with that most of the time. Yeah. Yeah. I mowed the lawn. That was hell. I'm sorry. Allergies go nuts? Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> damn it. But like I said, it's not like, a, oh, I'm having a sneezing fit. It's, ah, I have a headache for the rest of the day. Yeah. Mine is just like the eyes and the, mm -hmm. the congestion. It's got impressive. a haircut. Got my new glasses. I got my haircut too. Pretty sick. Yeah. Oh, I didn't recognize you got your new kid glasses. Thanks. Yeah. Second grade, man. Yeah, that's right. Dude, so hot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. You know, fucking, I hate priests. <laughs> no joke. I feel like we talk about this every week. I just, it came in right in my head when I said sexy to a younger version of you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, so hot. And I'm like, oh, gross. gross. I feel like a priest. I feel like a pedo. Ooh, priest. I feel like a big old PP. Yeah, no, I see where the uh, the lines were drawn in your head there. Yeah, yeah. I did go to a church service oh. this weekend. That was fun. Uh, I didn't... My, so, this is my consensus on religion. All right? You know I don't like it. Right. But I don't mind it. I don't mind it for the most part either. I don't like the cause and effect of it. 
I do like the idea of it. The idea of it is fantastic. You know, it's this Coming community together, aspect yeah. of supporting each other. Mm-hmm. But then you get, you know, the the darker sides of, you know, that whole priest issue and then sometimes the bigotry that over. comes out. Yeah. But yeah, in general. And then for some people that's, you know, kind of their outside of work life is the church. that community. Right. And that's that's cool. That's great. Right. So And I, I like that part of it. But sometimes the negative outweighs the positive. Sometimes. And that's why I don't like it. Then again, there's the whole their tax exempt thing. It's such bullshit. Exactly. Especially when they're all businesses. You go into the man into the church and they pass around the basket and are like donate to us. Yeah, this is after though they break down the daily funds and they've already made a mil- over a million dollars, <laughs> ridiculous amounts of money. And, and then like, they're like we need to repair this historic part of our church that's 150 years old. Like, who gets not historic. Sh- <laughs> who gives a shit? We need to raise $700,000. Please donate more. Please. We We're going to do a second offering. We'll pass around the basket a second time, specifically for this repair. Yeah. And then some of it may go to kids that need it. Also, you should donate 10% of whatever you make to us because, because. you're going to hell otherwise. Yeah, exactly. I, they don't say it to that extreme. But, but if you are gay, we hate you. <laughs> <laughs> and so, okay, that brings up another point about it. So, I'm sitting there. And again, I do not mind going to these mm-hmm. at all. I don't mind at all. Especially when you're so far away from, you know, the having to go. Yeah. It's just like, whatever. I'm here. Whatever. I'll, I'll go. I'll wait. And I'll go because Sarah, you know, that's She's her. going. And so. With her family. And if her family, her family, I feel like me being positive about going. is a better reflection on you to them. Yeah. And so another reason why I was doing it. But I'm going, and then I'm just, like, listening to... And Lutherans, oh, my God, they sing a lot. Like, Catherine's... Catholics have four or five songs that they go through. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, the amount of singing. I mentioned that to Sarah, and she's like, yeah, we we do sing a lot. Should have been like, Sarah, I understand why you like musicals so much now. I I grew up with one every week. (laughs) Yeah, right? It's literally... It's crazy. And But I realized a couple things when I was observing... The whole ceremony or whatever. It's almost like an outsider having not been in so long. Yeah, it, it was really weird how much you don't realize is that the priest or pastor, all they're doing literally is reviewing and reaccounting a book, geeking out over a book that they love a lot. So, right, and, and the way at least the Catholic Church does it is, like, they're on, like, a two-year cycle where they go through, like, most every chapter right? in the Bible and, like, pick out through, like, most everything. And the, the Catholic, with the Catholic sermons, mm-hmm. I like their, I like them more because it, they, the, the, the priest actually brings in Maybe personal experience topical. and tells a story in that. Mm-hmm. Lutherans, as of the two masses... I've went to outside of uh, the funeral we attended. Which means it must be the same for every single one. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> outside of the two. It wasn't the, the same place. Same church. Uh, I think they're called parishes. Or, you, they call same thing. Catholic church. Yeah, too. yeah. Uh, is they literally are just, they'll say, they'll read the reading, mm-hmm. and then they will literally reaccount it. And the, just with more verbiage, a lot more so verbiage. So it's like your sixth grade, um, you know, reading language arts assignments where it's like, read this passage and then explain it to us in your own words. Yes, yes. And or, you add all these flowery extra words yeah, to hit the word mark. Yes, and then, or it'll be like, oh, I just read two chapters of Harry Potter. I'm going to listen to a podcast for 40 minutes talking about. These two chapters. Okay, but when you're really into something, that's what people do. I know. They watch a movie and then... Yeah. Or a TV episode and then they go online to discuss it or watch a podcast about people discussing it. Yeah. And I I, I get that. It was just... just, I didn't realize that that's what it was in the end. Mm -hmm. And so I mentioned... Again, I mentioned that to Sarah. She's like, yeah, they're just big Jesus nerds. (laughs) And I'm like, yeah, yeah, they are. Nerds. Yeah. And then the other thing was how... um, and I say this not harshly, but how ignorant they can be. 
um, where they'll, before communion, they will offer their prayers, like, Father, give prayers to, so, for so-and-so, so-and-so, so, you know. So okay, and so. yeah. And the people that this this guy was praying for. Praying for, I'm like, dude, do you even know what these people do? And you won't, or, or push it, like, he asked to pray for our president, which, okay, cool, you know, whatever. Okay. But the president's kind of a douchebag. And well, it's more like a praying that he... Something terrible happens to him. Yeah, or... <laughs> yeah sure. And, and uh, I'm just like, really, you're praying for someone who's caused so much, you know, bullshit and I, I think, scrutiny. I think praying is just like I know the what, default. Yeah, I know yeah. what I know what they meant. But when you look at it, though, it seems a little like you're almost supporting him. It's like when someone writes a poem with all these meanings in it, and then as a person who's just reading it for whatever you take it a completely different y- yeah way. and so it's like really and then uh, <laughs> then he was just listing off this whole list of people who were converted in becoming a lutheran or christian mm-hmm. in other countries and then just went off this whole list on people who were stoned raped murdered killed Jeez. i'm like okay so that's why? a little excessive i'm like why are we doing this like i don't need to know that and then, then well then it makes you think it probably didn't make anyone else think this um it, well it probably made everyone else think like yeah this is what i have to do for my jesus is if someone were to point a gun at me and rape my wife in front of me i still say i still believe in jesus then i won't fucking let anyone say otherwise <laughs> and i just thought uh, who in their fucking right mind would do that? You know? Just say, I, even though you raped my wife in front of me and... I'm going to pray for you. Demanding to make me worship Allah versus Jesus. Like, fuck you, I'm going to still worship... It's like, at that point, you know? Like, what's your own life worth at that point? Is it worth well, some... That's, that's the whole martyr aspect. Is it... But Yeah, it's like, is it worth fake news? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I feel like with with religion, people are so like blinders on. Yes, sometimes, and that's the one big part that really annoys me. Is like, oh yeah, so we're murdering a lot of people, but like the gays, they suck. Like abortions. Oh, that was one of the things I wanted to talk about. You want to talk about Alabama? Uh, or I thought it was Missouri. Maybe it was Missouri. It was somewhere south. <laughs> I don't like getting too political on this podcast, or anytime we do things. Like, let's look up which state it is first before we uh, pretty sure before was, we say something really stupid. Yeah, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it was Missouri. I wanted to say it was Alabama, but uh, maybe I'm just thinking of Alabama as being you know deep south anyway. Yeah. Uh, but it kept popping up in my Google News at work. Oh yeah. So I kept I was following it. it. I was following it a little bit. That's the problem sometimes with popping up news sites is you see these things all the time and it just makes you angry. Well, my uh, my Google homepage is the news because I figured you oh, okay. know once in a while I should educate myself yeah, with no, what's going on. It's good to see on. every once in a while. Uh, but yeah, that, that was the big thing that was happening. So as as a you know nice positive, uh, Nevada apparently lifts their restriction on abortion. Good. Last day day or so here. Yeah, it's Alabama. Mm-hmm. I swear I saw something in Missouri. I mean, they probably have a crap law, too. But anyway, yeah. I believe the law was if a fetus is declared by a doctor as, like, eight weeks. I, I didn't read the specifics of how old, but it's very young. It, yeah, so if some someone correct me if this is otherwise, but if a doctor... A person who is does not have the baby, does not have the baby inside them, and is making a decision for another human being, decides that the fetus inside the woman is eight weeks or more still in the womb, she cannot have an abortion. It's illegal. And it's illegal. And there's a heavy penalty if you do. The doctor performing the abortion can be sentenced to up to 99 years in prison for performing an abortion that the patient wants or needs. 
even if they were raped or if they're like 12. That's where, yeah. that's Which the, is where the big, like, I mean, obviously, no matter what your age, you should have the choice if you want to. Mm-hmm. Not to necessarily say it's always the right thing, but. It's just the thing they that. They should have that choice. Yes. The thing that always bugged me was. Um, I don't even think the fetus is considered a living being. Right. There's a lot like of. Like eight weeks. There's a lot of. Yeah. Pre, pe- in that entire first trimester, there's a lot of. There's not really any. It's just not. Brain a, development. Yeah. It's not a, a conscious being. It doesn't even have like a beating heart. And. Uh, just having people who are not women and don't make these decisions make the decisions about <laughs> what goes on with the woman's body just it infuriates me so much that someone's so arrogant and ignorant to what's going on just because they want to have their way and just because what they want to happen to happen pull some bullshit like this. It just it frustrates me, frustrates me so much. And there's there's even room in there to think that abortion is wrong, uh-huh. even at any age, and still say, okay, but this is America. Yeah. Free, you know, freedom. Freedom. Um, I'm allowed to think it's wrong and not not perform that, yeah. not have one, but I don't have the right to impose my religious beliefs to say that everybody can't. Right. Uh, it's it's really annoying, but. Yeah, that was the one thing was, let's say you are raped and you are pregnant because of the rape. Like, you're supposed to just have this kid and put it up for adoption. Especially if you're, like, like, the, a like 12. 12. Yeah, well, like, the one example that was in the in the case. You want a 12-year-old to be a mom? You want her to go she's through gonna go, school? She's going to go to school every day pregnant for, you know, nine months. What does that do to that person's life, you know? That kid's now just going to be a bully target for the rest of their their school life for the next six years. And we know how bullies and mental health and shit works here. Right. Then you end up with a kid who kills themselves. Yeah. Or tries to because... With the fucking gun she bought. <laughs> God damn it. Well, she probably couldn't buy it until she's 18. She probably you know, grabbed it, it out her. of their parents, you know, unlocked gun case. Yeah. Fucking. But, yeah, so a whole host of other issues that could bring about other than, oh, you can, you know, just carry the baby to term and give it up for adoption. And then if it is a rape, it's like, oh, I have to have this baby inside of me for the next nine months. This reminder this that I was. part of my rapist. Yeah. That is inside me. Yeah, like, that's gonna fuck with somebody in the head. And then you fucking you look at that kid every day and you think of the time. Like I don't know. I just I. It's mind blowing the the mental hoops they jump yeah, through. Yeah, they just ignore. It and I yeah, I'm a guy, and I don't. I'll never be pregnant. I'll never get that. I'll never understand, understand it. carrying a living child once it is a living child inside me. Mm-hmm. But like at the same time, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I was just like. Oh, just frustrates me how people just (laughs) suck it is and then on the same turn you get you know as a motivation to do something as far as like a trade war or a real war you get these other countries where like oh you know they're oppressing women and they can't do this or that Uh it's like that's not a reason to invade you're doing the same shit yeah right right fucking whatever and the amount of times and then to go back on uh oh what was it uh, so this lady comes in today at work mm-hmm. and she's bitching about how she needs that new gold star on her license Okay, by 2020 and a co-worker's doing the same thing feeding into the, the bitchery feeding into the the government made me Yep, and one of the reasons that was brought up was well if we have to get this gold star then why the fuck are we letting all these immigrants in and giving them and I'm like Really? Just just grasping at straws. Unrelated things. Yes. Really? Like, how is is this connected? I don't... I Yeah. But it's just a lot of that... I've been... A lot of that has been very present with the people I deal with. Mm -hmm. Not my coworkers. But the clientele. Yes. And it's been present for the past, like, ten years now. Almost ten years. 
And I'm just like, I'm fucking done. I am so burnt out by it. It's ridiculous. Like, I was talking to this coworker who I'm now, who drove me nuts. And after I talked with her about, like, why she was doing all this stuff and that. And I finally understood her side of it. Mm-hmm. Um, we've, like, have, have had a lot of bonding moments. Because a lot of things that we, like, hate and disapprove of and stuff. Uh are very similar. And one of the things was on Monday, so she left for Hawaii today okay. for like a 12 day, 12 work day vacation. Oh, so nice. she, yeah, yeah. She's really gone for a nice long uh, extended nice, vacation. Nice, nice chunk. So I'm like taking on all of her responsibilities too. So I am learning stuff from her and, you know, vice versa. And what she's learning from me is being calm and collective and not, ah! <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're, we're chatting and Monday comes around, and someone, like, fucked up the schedule, so we, and because of that being impacted, uh, one of my coworkers, who was supposed to have a half day because she works Saturday because she's full-time, didn't have one scheduled, so she had to, like, peace out super early on Monday. She's going to have to do it on Thursday, which is tomorrow. And we, it was just, you know, this coworker and I, who we've been, you know, who we've been bonding with, you know, and she had a mess up where we stayed later after work. And since my boss wasn't there, I had to stay with her to fix it, you know, and stuff. Mm-hmm. And so we were like talking on our way back and she's like, I am so burnt out from people just like Customer the amount of shit. Like she, and she's like, she's a lot older than I am. She's like 62. Mm-hmm. And she's just talking about how it burns. She's like, I'm done. I just, like, I can't. I It's so hard. I'm like, well, you're going on vacation, you know, in a day. Just make it through a day, and you're going to be in Hawaii for over two weeks. Mm-hmm. And I was like, no, I feel you. I just, because everyone who's been coming in is just a total fuck. Like, the amount of entitlement and demanding and just really frustrating. It was so frustrating. I wrote a I wrote a poem about it. <laughs> oh, no. I was so mad. I was like, I have to get it out. And so I wrote a I have my journal I always carry with me. So I was like <laughs> But yeah, it was very frustrating. It made me want to live as a hermit for the rest <laughs> of my life. I don't blame you. Yeah. No, people suck. I think it's just okay. I think it's just people around here. I don't know if I would say just around here. You definitely get a certain you get a certain demographic around here. The reason I say around here is because I've been exposed in depth to the people around here. Yes. Because everything from Michigan on, from here, from Detroit on... is about the same. It's the same. Pretty much. And there are some good people. Don't get me wrong. There's no, there a, are. A lot of chill, cool people. But uh, just the amount of like bullshit that goes around in Big Rapids is ridiculous. Yeah. It's like it's really stupid, and it's just really frustrating to be. So the uh, the FedEx guy comes in today. He's he's dropping off, whatever uh-huh. he goes candy or whatever. And we were chatting real quick. And he's like, I asked him how his day was going. He's like, Let me tell you. Yeah. It's like so, some days I think people just wake up and they find a reason to bitch. Uh huh. It's like I just dropped this package off at a guy's house, and then I turned around in his turnaround in his driveway. Uh huh. Guy, guy, like, went out and started, like, cussing and yelling at him for turning around in his driveway. Why? But Just Exactly. Why? It was, like, the guy was looking for a reason to be angry at somebody or something. I, and I don't get it. It's like, come on. I don't get it. Like, fucking be a decent person. Like, Jesus Christ. Not that hard. <laughs> it's so frustrating. I, oh, my God. It's so frustrating. So, it makes me upset. I had who was it today? I don't remember who it was. And it was just this some some guy comes in and just was, I want this large amount of money right now. So I can't do that. Did you call in advance? I know you are a member here, and I know you've been one for a while. <laughs> Did you call in advance? No. Why would I do that? It's my money, and I need it now. Yes, it's your money, uh, but. There are rules. There are procedures and forms I have to fill out if you do this amount. Why the fuck are there forms? Because, you know, just, and it's just, it's just shit like that. It's just like people wanting. 
and, and not being thing, humble. And it's one thing about being, you know, coming in and saying, I need this amount. And you're like, oh, well, did you call him? Well, no. Oh, we need to fill out some forms. Okay. Uh huh. Let's do that. Yeah. But no. Re- real easy. Mm-hmm. And then they try to. My favorite thing is. So. My favorite thing to notice now, because I used to be this, is like stupid, stubborn people. Mm, they're just being stubborn. Just to be stubborn. And even if they realize they're, they're wrong, wrong, they're still going to they're gonna stay in that. And I used to be that a couple years ago. And it's like gone now. But it's really funny to now know when someone's doing that. And then and to understand that and just kind of smile at it. And just be like, you got to grow up. <laughs> and I'm glad I realized that in my early 20s versus in your 40s or 60s. 50s or, or never. Yeah. Yeah. And just I had there was this guy that came in. Who set up an automatic fund transfer? Oh, then there was this lady who gave me, who said there was like a thousand dollars. She gave me a thousand dollars. Count it. It's not. And it's not a thousand dollars. And they say it's not a thousand dollars. Yes, it is. I'll count it again for you. This is after I counted three times. Jeez. Count it. It's it's not. It's nine <laughs> nine whatever. Nine sixty or something or. No, it's a thousand dollars. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Can I see your manager? How about you count it? Then she realizes it's, you know, nine, six, whatever. Right. And she's like, oh, let me count it again. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it it, it was 960. Sorry? Is that... I'm just looking for a simple, I'm sorry. You know, I screwed up. You're right. And then you know what always happens because of customer service? is you always end up apologizing. Right. It's Because you inconvenience them for following the rules of your fucking job. Yep. That's the fucking worst, is how much of a bitch you have to be. Mm. No fucking dignity. Like, god damn it. It's fucking annoying. A lot of a lot of companies take the, the customer is right thing, like, way out of context, way too far. It's horseshit. It is. It's such horseshit. Horseshit. It's so bad. I was talking about something else, but I forgot what it was. Talking about oh, some a guy, guy came in. yeah. So he comes in Being and has his, has his loan set up on auto pay. Okay. So it's set out to pull the exact amount that he dictated when he started the loan on that exact on day. a certain day every month. <laughs> so he comes in. Why did it pull on this day? Well, sir, the past two years you've had this loan. It's done this. <laughs> Why? Well, you, you have to pay it. <laughs> you set it up like that, and you do have to pay back your loan. Why? Because it's not your money that you borrowed. Why? I don't... Dude, what do you want from me? What the fuck do you want from just, me? Just tell me what you want so we can get there. Like, God damn it. What do you want me to explain? Why is it pulling this amount? Because you set it to pull the amount of the payment that you owe on the loan. Oh. Well, I didn't do that. Yes, yeah. you did. You fucking did. You did. It says so. We, we can right go pull account. up all like through paperwork when you yeah, sign this I, loan. I could. I can literally pull out. Like, we have like trackers. We have papers. We have fucking notes about you. What do you want? Do you want proof that you're an idiot? Do you want that? <laughs> God. Oh. And it's the worst when it's like when you're just like two people working mm. because. One person always gets someone who is difficult and will be there at the window for 30 minutes. Right. So then you're sh- the other person's shuffling through every everyone. Everyone. So you're dealing with a ton of shit. It's like, would you rather deal with a ton of shit or like a giant piece of shit? Ton of shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's, and then the, it's worst when you have coworkers that uh, don't do their job and then pawn it off on you. Because mm-hmm. that happened today. And I don't know if she was new or if she wasn't, but... She fucked a lot of us over. She fucked two of us over, and one of them was me. And I sent her an email. It was not <laughs> nice. Um, it wasn't like, you did this wrong. It was just like, I just want... I did use bold, though. just wanted to let you know that this happened because you did this. And you didn't mention this, this, and this, and this, and this. And so the member did this to me because you went, didn't follow through or didn't dot your T's or cross your I's because... And then the member said you said this, and then she was saying she did not say that, and it was just like a whole fucking thing. Turns out the member isn't even responding to what... Like, we did. And no. Like, Linda and I... Linda, if you're listening to this, you're incredible. Um, she did most of the work because I it was just Wendy and I, so I was like, I can't, I can't multitask like this. Mm-hmm. Like, I need, I you know, need room to breathe in between because I have like all this other shit I have to do. I I'm like training this new person. <laughs> I can't do this right now. 
And so Linda had to go through four months worth of, pe- of this person's checks to find a specific check in each month. Mm-hmm. It took the majority of the day, so from 10, 10.30 to 4, 4.30, she, oh, was, she was done with, with like a little of my help in between when I could. And right. It was just, yeah. It was just like, really? Like, fucking really? <laughs> One of those weeks, huh? Yeah, and then it, it, it's been like really bad. I don't know what it has. Like, uh, I don't remember Tuesday being so bad, but Monday and Wednesday, like, just... Like I've had Shit hitting the fan. I've had so many like assholes come to me today. I like just being dicks just to be dicks to the point where my coworkers have noticed. <laughs> and it's like once I mean the they'll like hear, you know, like the one every however many. Right. But it's just it was just one after the other. And then apparently on Saturday, like six different people in Big Rapids, and then, like, a couple people from other branches were calling or coming in asking specifically for me. I'm like, fuck. Like, what do they want? <laughs> what did I do? Do they just want, like, to be me as their teller? Or, like, or did, did I it... screw something up real good? It, I don't think it was screw something up. I think it was they had something difficult that I've done for them that they and don't they want anyone else to If they come to, to you, touch. it's going to get done. Yeah, which... It's cool. Yeah, which is fine. Like, cool. And, like, the people who have the difficult things that are now my usuals, they won't go to anyone else. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't mind because they are genuine nice people. Right. But, no, because... Sarah sent me an email uh, while she was working on Saturday. She's like, the amount of people that have been asking for you is insane. And then it got to the point where, like, Linda's like, I can't believe how many people were asking for you. Because usually it's like, is Wendy, it's, it's either, is Wendy or Patrick here? Right. But now it was just like, all Patrick. Oh, Patrick here. like, fuck. <laughs> people want me as a teller. <laughs> fuck. Dang it. Yeah. You know what you need to do is you need to take that email from Sarah and like give it to your boss. Be like, look, pe- people need me. Raise. I need a raise. Give me, <laughs> give it to me right now, right the fuck now. My people need me. My peeps need me. Anything else you want to discuss? I don't think so. Okay. I had a lot of bitching the last part. It just came it's up. All right. It happens. We were talking about abortion. You know what? What can I do? What can I do? <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you for uh, listening to the side table. Catch us on the iTunes and the YouTubes and... And Buzzsprout or whatever the fuck it's called. What? <laughs> yeah, it's the hosting site. I've never heard of that. Oh, it's it's a really nice hosting site. Okay. That's how we're on iTunes. And then, uh... Thank you for... For you loyal fans. Um, shout out to Snake. Uh, for watching... And listening to all our stuff through June. Or even if you just listened through this entire episode. Yes. Uh, thank you for doing that. And June, trust me, content will be a coming. The basement is being fixed. How long do I figure that'll take? It's supposed to be like a couple days, like three days. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did I mention I have no water? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not showering. I got a shower. I could randomly come over here. Hey, can I shower real quick? Yeah. I've had like three people offer that. Well, there you go. See, there are nice people in the world. <laughs> Yeah, thank you guys for listening and watching, and uh, check out the best of yo. It'll the, the best of was pretty good. Yeah, I think I, all of the best ofs are good. If you want to like just quick catch up on the channel stuff, just watch all the best yeah, ofs. There won't be one obviously for whatever May. month this is, but it'll start up in June. Yeah, peace. Oh, if there's any funny video things you want us to try, we she'll try them. Any video ideas? Yeah, yeah, we're open. Yeah, porn is a thing that Josh was into. What? Yeah, man. Rock on. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> All right, peace. I have to pee. Cue the intro music, uh, Carl. Thank you, Carl. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs>